Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all having an awesome day. We're looking at Joe Fruit, named after Joe from Art Alien TV, who made this discovery. So all credit to him. And uh, this site is located south of Gemini Scopuli in the northern plains of Mars. The photograph is called Dunes and I rise acquired this on the 9th of July 2015 at a resolution of 63 Point two centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the low res black and white and these huge artifacts or anomalies in rows and rows and rows in this area of Mars. So very similar in size and shape. Now we're looking at the North Pole of Mars and the site is right there at about 73 degrees, 31 minutes north, 58 degrees, 27 minutes east. Here's the first zoom that I'll be doing for you guys. And the upscales I used Topaz Labs Gigapixel AI. So this is at actual size and these anomalies range between 100 roughly meters to about 180 meters across and they're about 10 meters in height if I can take that there as the shadow NASA says the Sun was at about 17 degrees elevation at the time of this photograph so these work out to about 10 meters or so tall or high so they're sort of like mounds, and it'll make sense if these are huge fruits. Obviously for the weight, they can't be too high above the surface. So are these bigger under the surface to carry the weight? So there we're zooming in on that item, and there it is using Gigapixel AI. Check out the detail on this anomaly, folks. We've got these strange, they almost look like leafy parts at the top, originating out of that central part there. And then on each one of these, there seems to be an opening. And the strange pattern around it got no idea what these things are. Check it the crack here in the skin, if we could call it that, or in the exterior of that dome. Then we'll be zooming in on those two down there, folks. Check that out. Another one of these strange openings there, also over there. And the strange flower pattern once again. This one's a little different. But it's also got that sort of petal shape to it. Let's take a closer look at that object. And again, it has, it looks like an opening on the one side. That strange petal or leaf shape above it and then again the strange leaf-like or petals I don't know what these are they are huge emanating from the center over there with the cracks as well and NASA calls these dunes let me know in the comments below if you guys also agree that these are normal dunes or is there something else at play here? And then we'll zoom in on the item over there. Again, strange petal shape with what could be an opening. Strange cracks or veiny type artifacts on top of it. Rather odd. And there's a, another potential opening in that one. Looks like there might be a triangular opening over here as well. 
also created gigapans of these anomalies in Gigapixel AI, which allows you to zoom in and pan around in these image clips. For example, we can go way down there and check out the detail up close. It starts breaking up there. So you can get a good idea of what this looks like very close up. I'll include these as a download in the video description below. I'll put the links there for you to download these. You don't need special software. Yeah, I'm using Image Viewer in Windows 11. I think you'll need a reasonable graphics card though. But give it a shot. Maybe it works for you. Check again. The black opening there. Right, here's the second one you can check out. This to me is just amazing. These things look like almost copies of each other. And again, this one's got a strange shape to it. This one over here has got a rather strange shape. Sort of rectangular. Let's pan in and have a look at that one. An opening or just the trick of light and shadow and then the two look like cracks in the surface material a while ago I did 3d renders or 3d illustrations of these anomalies if you recall if you'd seen it that these were more round until I found out that they might be a bit flatter and closer to the ground and I also thought they might have thorny coverings on them as well I've removed that I've squashed them down a bit and uh, I've given them that white shape on those funny leaf-like parts so yeah are the new updated illustrations and I'm trying to depict the size with the astronauts included in these illustrations so these things are huge could they be like Joe says some type of fruit or plant and uh, are they perhaps hollowed out to these doorways or entrances and could they be used as shelters? So up to the northern plains of Mars to the area where those anomalies are located. So Gemini Scopula is located over here to the top left. Udza or Udza is located to the top right. Lonar over here to the left. Do these look like natural dunes to you guys? Or do you know of a process in nature that produces this type of layout? Where we have these flower petal type openings and these strange white leafy parts at the tops. And why are the ways spaced evenly apart for the most part? And why are they the same size and shape virtually? With that said, we've reached the end of this feature. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more in the near future. So be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I don't normally say that. But for those of you who are visiting for the first time, 
I'd love to see you back. You might find my work and research enjoyable and maybe even interesting. So anyway, I hope you take care. Michelle and I will probably see you in the next one real soon. Ciao for now.